Today, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Handshake. Handshake is our career management platform that the Block Career Center and UMKC Career Services uses. Currently, I am logged in with one of our student worker accounts that works in the Block Career Center. She gave me permission to do that so you can see what the student interface looks like. When you first log into Handshake, you will use your username and password, so the same credentials that you would use when logging into your email, um, Canvas, or Pathways. And when you first log in, this is the first thing that will come up. It's kind of the dashboard. Um, you'll see that there are various options to select from. But first, what I'm going to do is show you um, the Career Center option. This is how you would make appointments with um, our office, as well as see your different resources. So if you go to appointments, and this is what most students use Handshake for, and you go to schedule new appointment, you can see Erin has had all of these appointments with our office. Um, she's actually, we use her account as test accounts, and so these are um, just us modeling what an appointment looks like. But if you go to schedule new appointment, and then if you're a block student, block career center, and then we have a variety of appointment types. If you're coming in for something that, isn't ne that doesn't necessarily fall in one of these categories, select resume review because we'll still want you to bring in your resume. And then you'll select a time that works best for you. So as you'll see, we have quite a few appointments um, every day and we also have walk-in hours that you can do. So we'll look at doing a Monday morning appointment with Maggie. And since everything is online right now, um, you can do either a phone appointment or a video appointment via Zoom. And then you'll just type in there what um, you would like to do, and then you hit request. Um, very shortly after, you'll get an approval from the um, career coach or staff member that you requested an appointment with. If you go back to that initial dashboard, or if you go back to the Career Center, and then you hit resources, there are some valuable tools in here that I wanted to share with you as well. The first being these new career resources during COVID-19. We know that this is a difficult time for a lot of students as they're trying to secure either full-time employment or internships. And we have a variety of links and resources in this section that, um, that, we can, that will help you with your search. Also, if you go back, we started our own YouTube channel to throw a lot of our content that we would have normally presented in workshops or in classes on YouTube. That will be helpful for you as well. And then if you keep scrolling, we have a variety of other um, resources down here. So for example, Big Interview is a great opportunity for you to practice interviewing skills, especially since all interviewing will be moved to virtual, um, like either pre-recorded or via platforms such as Zoom, that will give you a lot of great practice. Um, Going Global is um, a really great site if you are looking at working internationally, and it talks to you about um, the different processes and what's customary in those countries. The next big thing in Handshake, actually the first thing that you'll wanna do when you log into Handshake, if you've never activated your account, it will ask you to fill out some additional information. And upon activating your account, it will then ask you to complete your profile. Erin, and the reason we used her profile is that she's almost 100% complete. I think the only thing that she's missing is that she hasn't added projects. So if you look at this, it looks very um, kind of like social media. It has a very LinkedIn feel. So we recommend you including a headshot or um, a picture that shows your personality a little bit more. So there's Erin. And it has, and this, some of this information will auto-populate. Um, obviously the school, um, your degree will also auto-populate. If, if you've changed your major, you can change this information as well by just selecting these pencils. It has your upcoming graduation date and you can adjust your GPA accordingly. You can also include a summary 
and then it has, and then you'll have your education and then your volunteer and work experience. So, and then you can also put down what your interests are. And this is really valuable for those looking for internships or full-time opportunities. Erin actually interned with the Fed and they extended her a full-time offer um, following her internship and she accepted it. So she is not looking for a job right now. If you do mark that you are looking for a job similar to LinkedIn, it gives recruiters who are using Handshake an opportunity to, um, to reach out to you. It's important that your account is as updated as possible. So you can, um, so it does give recruiters the opportunity to, to reach out to you if they do have relevant um, um, opportunities for you. If you go to messages, there are a lot of recruiters that will reach out to students directly through Handshake because they don't always have access to your email. And you'll see in here that Erin had quite a few people reach out to her. Some might be op um, opportunities that she would have been interested, others may not have been. I want to point out that we've had multiple block students that have been reached out to them by companies um, that either have offices or are headquartered in other markets, such as New York or San Francisco. Um, and if those students would have blindly applied um, to those opportunities without a referral, they honestly probably, knowing the companies, they probably wouldn't have made it very far in the process. Um, so recruiters are using Handshake to identify um, diverse talent, so talent that they wouldn't have normally have gotten from um, schools or that you know, they're wanting to bring in students and new hires from schools that they normally don't recruit at. So that's why it's important to be checking your messages and be gracious if you're turning down an opportunity, but then to follow up with, um, with those reaching out to you as timely as possible. Lastly, if you go to jobs, this is where, or I shouldn't say lastly, but this is where you'll see jo like upcoming jobs. Uh, or jobs that are posted that might be an option to you. Um, Aaron is studying management, which is a fairly broad degree, and most opportunities would be open to a management degree. So there are gonna be opportunities in here that she might not necessarily be interested in, but you can narrow that field down even more. So say she's studying, she is studying management, but say she was specifically interested in human resources. So she types in human resources, in Kansas City. This definitely narrows down her scope. So a human resource analyst position with Jeff, with the Jex, with the county, um, something with YRC, it's an internship. You can also filter these by internship or part-time positions as well, a recruiter position. So um, and the nice thing is is that since handshake is used throughout the country, um, you can change, you know, if you're not interested in staying in Kansas City, there are opportunities um, across the country that, that you could do a search for. So say Aaron wanted to do human resources, but in Dallas. So we would just filter those to be just in, in Dallas, and obviously it comes up with um, a different a variety of other opportunities. Lastly, if you go to the events section, you'll be able to see our upcoming events. Now, obviously, this looks a little bit different because everything has been moved to virtual, but we do have some through our office that are posted. And honestly, we always have quite a few virtual opportunities with companies posted that wouldn't be able to come on campus physically, but they would still like to um, have students interact with them in some capacity. So Google has a code jam um, that is going on right now, a couple of Bank of America positions. Um, the Block Career Center is hosting an elevator pitch competition. Um, and then we also have virtual office hours, some different Zoom um, uh, workshops that you could participate in. And you can view the event to get more details. Some you do need to RSVP for, others you don't. 
I would say most events through the Block Career Center you don't need to RSVP for, but just look for that um, as you are um, as you're looking through the different events. So that's just a quick overview um, of Handshake, and I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to the Block Career Center. Um, we are checking voicemail and um, our personal voicemails, and then our office voicemail is also forwarded to us. But you can either send um, our office an email um, at blockcareernet at umkc.edu, or you can call us at 816-235-5529.